Start tonight with that Charlotte neighborhood shaken up after a shootout earlier this week. Police say a home invasion on Statesville Avenue just north of Uptown led to several shots fired Monday night. And neighbors say it's a miracle no one was hurt. Thank you for joining us. I'm Vanessa Rufus. And I'm Colin Mayfield. It's there are fears. Shape. Shootings it's are becoming too common shot. right here in Charlotte. WCNC Charlotte's Julia Kaufman shows us what solutions uh, community advocates are coming up with and seeking right now to try to curb this violence. It was a normal Monday for Tiffany Schreiber and her fiance. We watched a movie and we were hanging out on the couch. Until what they thought were fireworks outside got much louder. And then one of the bullets came through our window, like right above where we were sitting. Schreiber says her neighborhood, Bright Walk near Camp North End, is usually quiet with no issues. But Monday night, a police report says a home in... Glad her neighborhood. <laughs> Just look at those flower beds. <laughs> yeah, man. It's just a lot of neighborhood, man. I mean, everything's manicured and taken care of. Everything looks nice, man. Um. Issues. But Monday night, a police report says a home invasion in the apartments across from her house led to a shootout. I was like, is this it? This could be it. Y'all okay? Yeah, yeah. Several houses and cars were hit. Schreiber says the damage inside will cost around $35,000 to fix. One hit the brick, um, and then another one in the middle of where that red tape was. But what bothers her most is the troubling trend of gun violence in Charlotte. Just the response that I've been getting is, oh, it's so common. Oh, it's a common occurrence, but it's not common to me. The latest crime statistics from CMPD show violent crime was down 6% in the first quarter of 2023 compared to the same time last year. But homicides are up 26%. Crime. So homicides up and crime is down. They're not reporting the crime. Up 26%. Crime mapping around Shriver. They're, 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 they're fudging the crime numbers, right? I'm get yeah. I'm getting a bad vibe about that apartment complex. There's got to be some uh, Section 8, at least, in the, that apartment complex. Mm. Same time last year, but homicides are up 26%. Crime mapping around Schreiber's neighborhood shows there have been 204 reports of assaults, weapons, and homicides this year alone. I think a lot of times um, persons who are using gun violence really are not aware of the um, impact. Community advocate Reverend Glency Redrick oh, says part of the solution <laughs> is teaching children and young adults conflict resolution skills. How to have that conversation, um, how to use your words. Above all, she says communities need to find ways to discuss the value of human life and the consequences of violence. Town hall meetings to have those kinds of conversations, uh, making sure that um, in our churches, that there are sermons that um, talk about what it looks like to be free from violence. Schreiber feels lucky no one was hurt in the shooting. She, did she say church sermons? 